Hi, I'm Nikita. I worked as a designer with Sharon. We looked at how the design should be based on e-learning systems. We then passed these on to the programmers. Uh, hello, I'm Aidan. I'm one of the programmers. Uh, we have different technical specifications to figure out what we're actually going to make for the uh, new technology that we're going to try and implement in schools. Uh, I'm Bradley. I'm part of the programming team. Uh, we're responsible for doing HTML, CSS and JavaScript during the project and I believe we did a good job. Hi, I'm Jade. And I'm Chrissy. We are the usability team and we're in charge of making sure the content and layout of the website are suitable for Key Stage 3 students. I have visited my secondary school and I've gathered feedback on the website which we have built. I tested it on a few students and gathered their um, responses. I researched online tools that can be used in conjunction with our website so that students who are partially sighted will also be able to use it. These tools are Magnifier, NVDA and Dolphin. These are used by many partially sighted people in Coventry. Hi, my name is Tabitha. I'm part of the usability team and I'm conducting research about the psychological side of algorithms. My name is Hamad bin Nafisa and I'm doing the translation of the whole project. Uh, like the media videos and the website as well and the usability test. Hi, I'm Devin. I'm part of the management team. I uh, solve issues within the group. I uh, also a mode of communication, uh, self meetings. Welcome to our video tour of our website Algorithms for Children. Uh, this was created part of 206 CDE, Real World Projects, and our group project, uh, New Technology in Schools. So we'll start off, as you can see, the site is quite colourful. We chose this because uh, younger children react and like things more, the bright colours, it's uh, psychologically known and we did research on that which will be in the report right if we click register because you can't actually access the site unless you log in uh, if we choose this so username is Aiden1 put password as test name is Aiden surname is Sphinx your address let's put mine in there 15 and Coventry University and now we've registered. So now if we log in, and we go Aiden 1. And we log in. And you see we get to the main page. This is the, uh, the home page. As you can see, it has direct links to all parts of the site. And even welcomes you using your username when you log in. So first we will look at the algorithms pages. Uh, they're all very similar in structure. First we have uh, sorting. And here we go, it welcomes you again using your username. It has a video on YouTube which we've created, uh, which can be viewed. Uh, I will put a link in the report. So, it's a similar for sorting, and again, similar for 
graph. Uh, it all contains text and information that is relevant to the uh, things we're trying to teach. And the video sort of gives a basic guideline and then the text goes into a lot more detail about the learning. We have tried to set the text for to be more informative to younger, the younger generation. Okay, now we'll move on to history, where we have created a um, timeline, which can, which you can look at specific sections of the timeline of the history of algorithms. Uh, we decided to use JavaScript for this to make it a slightly more interactive for for the younger audience. Goes through each thing and tells you a little bit about each section of the history. Okay, well, I think that's gen. I think that's uh, generally all we have to show. The website itself is still in construction, and more information will be added. Uh, and obviously, there's the logout button, which takes you back to the login screen. Thank you very much. Uh, hope you enjoy.